pension is now in jeopardy. How do they pay their bills this year? What will be left to pass on to their kids? And none of this is happening in a vacuum. A recent study showed air pollution is linked with increased risk of death from COVID-19. Our economy can't recover it, but can't build back. With more resiliency, more ability to withstand extreme weather, extreme weather that will only come with greater frequency and intensity. The unrelenting impact of climate change affects every single solitary one of us. But too often, the brunt falls disproportionately on communities of color, exacerbating the need for environmental, for environmental justice. Sorry, as a bug. <laughs> Speaking of the environment. Come on inside, folks. owns one of them and maintains one of the enormous fleet of vehicles and we're going to harness the purchasing power of our federal government to make sure we're buying electric vehicles that are made and sourced by union workers right here in the united states of america and together this will mean more I believe that every American has a fundamental right to breathe clean air and drink clean water. I know that we haven't fulfilled that right yet. That's true of the millions of families struggling with the smoke created devastation of the wildfires right now. But it's also been true for a generation or more. Our economy for generation is not property. How do they pay their bills this year? 